The nuclear weapons tests of the Soviet Union were performed between the years 1949 and 1990 as a part of the nuclear arms race. And the nuclear arms race was really an arms race competition to see who could be the top in terms of nuclear power between the United States and the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, now Russia, and the United States own about 90% of the world's supply of nuclear weapons. Let's take a look into the brief history of Russia's nuclear tests. Welcome everybody, my name is Leroy Kent and you're watching FTD Facts. This is a channel where we give you facts and information about the different countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. And now we're diving into Russia again. But before we get into this episode, if you're a newcomer here to FTD Facts, tap that subscribe button and that bell notification to keep up to date with daily educational videos like this. And if you believe that we do not need any more nuclear weapons on this planet, hit that like button. The Soviet Union had conducted 750 nuclear tests using 969 total devices, and this is only by the official count. And these tests included 219 atmospheric tests, as well as underwater tests, and 124 peaceful use tests. These tests were all conducted under the Soviet Atomic Bomb Project that was a classified research and development program that was authorized by Joseph Stalin in the Soviet Union. And this was all to develop nuclear weapons during the Second World War. So after Joseph Stalin heard about the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan by the United States, well, the nuclear program swung into full gear. They went more aggressively and this moved with great speed due to the intelligence that was gathered about the German nuclear project as well as America's Manhattan project. On August 29th, 1949, the Soviet Union secretly conducted its first successful nuclear weapons test, which is called First Lightning, in in Kazakhstan. And Russia's nuclear testing was even said to be more extreme than the United States test because the effects continue to this day. And in 1949, Russia, then the Soviet Union, dropped atomic bombs in an area that is now known as Kazakhstan. And that area was called Semipalatinsk, aka the Polygon. Now the sad thing about this is that one of the nuclear program's architects said that this area was completely uninhabited before the test started. However, that was not the case because there are about 1.5 million people living in the area when the nuclear tests were conducted. For 40 years following that, the Soviets, they detonated bombs here with tests at one point happening almost daily. So the effects of these nuclear testings in the polygon became visible almost immediately because cancer rates drastically increased as well as the rates of birth defects and mental disabilities and suicide rates increased. Around 200,000 people were directly affected by these tests. Now I want to take a look at the Tsar Bomba. So the Tsar Bomba was the Western nickname for the Soviet RDS-220 hydrogen bomb that was codenamed Vanya. And this was detonated by the Soviet Union back on October 30th of 1961. And the Tsar Bomba is the largest nuclear device ever detonated and the most powerful man-made explosion in history. This has a yield of 50 megatons of TNT. The Tsar Bomba was a result of a number of hydrogen bomb tests that were conducted throughout this time by the Soviet Union as well as the United States. The Tsar Bomba weighed 27 tons and that's about 59,525 pounds. And this thing was massive. It was 26 feet in length and 6.9 feet in diameter. And when they conducted the tests with the Tsar Bomba, it was attached to a parachute weighing nearly 1,800 pounds. The Tsar Bomba's yield was approximately 1,570 times more powerful than the yield of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined, as well as it was 10 times more powerful than all of the conventional weapons that were used and detonated during all of World War II. The Tsar Bomba's mushroom cloud was approximately 40 miles high. That's seven times higher than Mount Everest. The top of the cloud had a width of 59 miles and its base width was 25 miles. Of course, this struck fear not only to the Russians, but also to the rest of the world. And after that, eventually Russia, along with a number 
of other nations, they signed what is called the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty and they ended the testing. Now there have been claims that Russia is in violation of this treaty and is still secretly testing nuclear weapons. Russia however denies these claims. So that was your brief look into Russia's nuclear testing history. Do you believe that Russia is secretly still testing nuclear weapons despite already having weapons that could destroy the earth several times over? I look forward to reading your thoughts and comments down below. You can also find my social media links below in this video description as well. And I'll see you guys real soon in another episode. If the world of nuclear testing and the military is of interest to you, here's a playlist where you can find more videos like this. We also cover a variety of topics here on FTD Facts, so don't forget to tune in daily for more educational episodes.